and be ready with your pen and paper you are going to get the time and you are going to solve some questions so let's have the first question 6x plus y equals to 22 and the next equation is 4x minus y equals to 8 okay so continue this question you have two minutes okay it's 2 58 before 3 pm I, uh, like before that i'm going to ask the answer okay and up to now i received the how many answers let me check uh okay up to now i didn't get any answers so i am looking for at least 50 answers okay because we are the member of right now in the class we have the 97 excluding me <laughs> and excluding you. okay you have to put both the values at a time okay x and y do not send me any separate values okay put it both the values together okay i got answer from vishan i got answer from k i got answer from ridima abhino roshan very good all of you okay kiki is also giving me answers samir yes very good everyone okay now focus on the solving the question okay remaining members you have still one more minute to solve this so i'm not able to hear you i am not saying anything i am saying that like please solve this question you have the time okay so yes now i am solving okay you can observe my calculation if you have any doubt then it will get resolved okay look at my calculation 6x plus y equals to 22 and another equation is what i have 4x minus y equals to 8 okay so now you can observe here y and y is there and there is a same sign i have right i mean same number okay not the same sign coefficient are the same one and one okay fine clear see no need to write one okay so it's easy opposite sign add them it's clear already i have written many times opposite sign plus same sign subtract okay so here you can do directly addition okay so this y and this y will get cancelled 4x plus 6x or 6x plus 4x that is the 10x okay clear and 22 plus 8 that is the 30 so it's very clear x equals to 3 right <coughs> now you can take any equation let's say i'm taking this equation here i am doing the substitution okay so 4 times x okay and instead of x i can write the value that is the 3 okay because i can substitute like that and minus 4 i mean minus y equals to 8 so 4 times 3 that's the how much 12 12 minus y equals to 8 okay so like what should be the value of y y, y should be what y should be like this right 12 minus 8 and y should be on the right hand side so it's fine like y should be the 4 okay that's a clear right everyone like value of y should be 4 okay clear okay so now raise your hand if you have any doubt okay adam what is your doubt how do you know if it's minus or addition okay this is the rule i told you many times if you have the opposite sign then add them logically think like that if you have something plus and the equal amount of the negative then if you merge them then that is going to be zero only right yeah <laughs> plus one minus one if you join them then what is going to happen zero zero you and you can th you can check okay no one will uh help you in that like uh, it's a what we can say like plus one minus one if you merge them then that's zero okay Kiki, what is your doubt i subtracted 4x from 6x because they have the same sign uh but uh, why we are doing that because we are looking for the y cancellation right if you subtract then then what is going to happen 6x minus 4x okay that's the 2x and y minus minus y that's going to be minus 2 like 2y plus 2y okay so you are not able to cancel by doing that right Excuse me, yeah sir. yes question um so i'm starting to i'm starting to get the question now so um can you please do another question of this what what is your question no, like I'm, I'm, I'm getting the hang of the, I'm getting the hang of this topic. So, can you please do, so can you do another question? Please? So if there are many members. Okay, question. This is a group class. It's uh, not like that, right? Yes. Okay. So why you are asking then? It's uh, you are hang on this, uh, this topic. Then it's fine. Like you can do anything. But if other papers want to learn, Isla, what is your doubt? And don't mute, like unmute yourself. Okay, without yes, your name. This wasn't a doubt i just wasn't able to send a message to you for some reason okay so tell me what do you want to say isla uh yeah i wasn't able to uh, send a message in the chat to you when i tried to submit my answer okay for some it's reason fine. It isn't. So, i'll try again this the... round now. okay no problem question. okay thank you so let's have the next question solve the simultaneous equation 2a plus 3b equals to 13 and 2a minus b equals to 7 okay yes please everyone solve these questions 
this question is easy you have the two minutes to solve this question and that is more than enough as well Baba, come here i'll help you please mute yourself kevin niraj after for days and days okay so let me solve this question okay if you have any answer then you okay, can compare your answer yes the answer would be a decimal number okay then we will check it okay i am going to uh, solve this and whatever answers we are getting you can compare okay don't uh, like that's not doubt okay whatever answer you are getting i am solving here so we can compare our answers okay so 2a minus b equals to 7 here i am just writing this equation here okay now you can find 2a and 2a is there i want to eliminate the a and they have the same number right so it's easily i can subtract like this okay so 2a minus 2a that's 0 okay and it's very clear 2a minus 2a that's 0 minus 3b minus minus b that means what as i mentioned already uh, in the integer class like first day 3b minus b like this then then will become 3b plus b this will become right so that according to that it's 4b okay so it's 4b and now it's very clear 13 minus 7 that's how much that's the 6 okay okay so if you have the answer b equals to what you have the answer 6 divided by 4 and it means this answer is like um, 3 by 2 and then you can say if you want to write in terms of decimal then you can write 1.5 so any answer is possible okay like decimal is also possible there is nothing is to worry now take this uh, any equation let's say i'm taking this one okay let's say okay let's say i'm taking this one to a minus b equals to 7 right so instead of uh, uh, b what you can write instead of b you can write 1.5 equals to 7 right so here what do you have 2a equals to what 7 plus this one this will move here okay if you add 1.5 both the sides what is going to happen minus 1.5 on the left hand side will get cancelled so that means it's 8.5 okay that's clearly 8.5 uh you have you i am adding this one okay both the sides so it's clearly 8.5 now i have to divide by 2 okay so if i have to divide by 2 then this is 4.25 okay so the clearly the answers are 1.5 for b and 4.25 for a okay yes you all are getting this answer i hope so okay yeah yashu what is your doubt for b i got um 10 but 10 is not possible like uh 13 minus 7 that's how much 6 only and oh, b i added 7 okay so that's the mistake okay fine now that type of mistake you can observe in my calculation as well right okay nero what is your doubt now please remove your hands yeah sure nero what is your simultaneous doubt? question to be decimal answers like see if they will ask in terms of fraction then it's fine like 3 over 2 is also fine and 1.2 1.5 is also fine at the end you have to you have to put like there is nothing is to worry right you have to just uh listen to the process and at the end result it can be see it cannot be non-terminating decimals right in your syllabus this type of things is not there like 33.3333 like this this is gcse and beyond like that right we are five below beyond that okay but if if some answer like this 33.5 then that's possible okay this is the possible up to up to one decimal place or up to two decimal places it's possible nothing is to worry okay and it's easy only you are learning the decimals right are you not learning the decimals 1.5 plus 2.5 and all those things so it's your syllabus only okay and you may get some time okay okay nothing is to worry now let's have the next question so this question is a little bit difficult uh, excuse because me, sir. yes samita um i got b no i got um a is equal to 17 by 4 is that okay okay 17 by 4 so nothing is to worry if you want to uh if answer is a fraction then it's fine otherwise like you, you can solve as well this is what basically if you convert this uh, into the mixed fraction then this is what four times four and here one fourth right like this yeah so it means what 4.25 only right so it's okay like uh, you can write your final answer in the fraction or in decimal it's fine nothing is to worry okay okay so let's uh take this one okay like uh, two questions we have taken this type of okay and we uh, we have the last five minutes so let's take one word problem over there okay 
yeah so try to solve this question this is easy as well everyone please try to solve okay samriti do you have doubt or do you have the answer um no i'm just like asking you will the answer be in a decimal point see what i mentioned it's okay like if this is just that we are learning right in during the exam we don't know like uh, see generally you will get the positive and whole numbers but if they are telling you like easy decimals like 1.5 2.5 this type of answers are possible because you are just solving right at the end you may get it there is nothing is to worry right okay okay so there is no particular rule like uh, like see if you are not learning the decimals then there is a rule like you cannot ask decimal right because you have the chapter after the decimal decimal addition decimal subtraction and all those things so it's it's your syllabus only there is nothing difficult we are learning okay okay so please do this question and i can see many of you are solving correctly this question excellent for that skip solving you I have numbers that have a difference of 7 and add up to 70 yes ma'am okay please mute if you don't find it out okay okay i am solving this question this question is easy only okay there are two number and have the difference yeah. of seven okay so let's say my x is greater than y okay and my two numbers are x and y so x minus y equals to seven okay and they are add up to 17 so that's easy x plus y equals to 17 now you have two equations and i want to eliminate any number any variable i can eliminate okay so i would like to prefer add them so x plus x that's 2y i mean 2x y and y will get cancel okay now 17 plus 7 that's how much that's 24 okay so it's very clear from here that x must be 12 okay once you have the answer of this you are aware like x plus y equals to 17 so instead of x you can put 12 okay that's mean you are substituting the value of x 12 plus y equals to 17 and that's why y equals to what y equals to 5 okay so this is the answer of this question okay okay so let's uh, summarize okay uh, let's